ChatGPT4's latest innovation is something called Code Interpreter. And let me tell you, it's pretty amazing. It's like having a data analyst at your fingertips. In this video, I'm going to extract some data from my YouTube channel's analytics, upload that data to Code in, or ChatGPT4, that is the Code Interpreter, and you'll see the prompts that I use to interpret this data so I can extract some insights about my channel and use those insights to help grow my channel even more. Let's go dive right in. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and you'll see exactly the prompts that I use. And don't forget, stay through to the end of the video because there's some pretty cool stuff I also show you at the end. Let's go dive right in. So here we are in ChatGPT. And as mentioned, I'm going to be using the code interpreter functionality to interpret data from my YouTube channel. Okay, so what I got to do is I first got to make sure that code interpreter is enabled. So I go down here to my settings settings and data code interpreter is enabled so you need to check that for yours I go to chat GPT 4 here and then toggle on this code interpreter that then turns on this plus icon here which enables me to upload a file to chat GPT 4 so I'm just going to do that real quick so it's uploading uh, this um, data which I got from my channel analytics and I downloaded a bunch of information about my channel I think I got about 90 days worth of data and you're going to be amazed at what you can see is possible to do with this code interpreter so the first thing I'm going to ask chat GPT is can you explain this data set and it's going to uh, read that information in this CSV file and um, interpret this data. Now, I made sure I didn't make any edits to this data set, okay? I wanted to just get a bit of a dump and see what it can kind of do by itself without any data manipulation uh, by me. So it's saying the data set appears to be related to YouTube video statistics. Here's a breakdown. That's awesome. Um, and then it's sort of going through that. Is there anything specific you'd like to know about this data set? or any particular analysis your operation you'd like me to perform. So I then say that with your knowledge from this data set, can you perform data analysis? And let's see what um, it can come back with. So descriptive trend analysis. Uh, so uh, which specific analysis would you like to perform? If this, so I it might say uh, trend analysis. Let's see what it can come back with. Cool, convert the video publish, uh, so by publish. Uh, so I am going to say subscribers gained. Let's just see what, what it can come back with because that's what I'm trying to grow the channel. Uh, cool, so now it's going, this works off Python code, which fortunately you don't need to know. How good is that? Uh, so converted published time date format. It's going to create some charts. Um, you'll see actually. I'm going to, the next thing I ask. It's pretty cool. Uh, here's a trend. So it shows the trend of subscribers gained over time, which is pretty cool. Um, cool. I might just um, ask it something else. I might just say to it, uh, what are the metrics that contribute to growing a YouTube channel? And then you'll see why I get to ask that. So growing a YouTube channel requires uh, the following key metrics, channel growth. So I'm making sure that it understands the metrics that are involved for creating. So how crazy is this? This is so amazing what it can do. And um, really I'm getting it to focus on this because when I next asked, it is going to be based on the data that I have uploaded because I say based on these metrics which five videos have contributed the most to the channel growth and that's what I want to know uh, the metrics uh, mix of factors it's a surprise yep so this will really kind of why I'm asking it this uh, so let's say subscribers because that's the channel growth I could also say views. I might do views as well. Um, it's working. So it tells me uh, which of the videos have contributed the most to subscribers, the growth of subscribers. 
I could also ask it to, you know, do it based on views if I like. Uh, but, you know, for the purpose of this video, I'm just trying to explore other opportunities. Based on these metrics, which five videos have contributed the least to this channel growth? So now I kind of know which content to, to create more of and which content to create less of in terms of what is uh, my goal and objective. I am also going to ask it 2014. Wow, that's how long I've been doing this. Uh, cool. Maybe it's even worth deleting those videos. Uh, this is an interesting thing I like to ask. What insights do you see in this data set? Give me a numbered list. So I want to see um, subscriber growth variation, at least interesting. So maybe it's worth deleting those data quality issues. Um, I also, you know, one of the metrics I know f which um, contributes to channel growth is uh, engagement. So I can ask it to find me. Uh, which videos have contributed to the highest engagement? Pretty cool. So it's given me a whole bunch of uh, insights. So limited time of recent videos, um, etc. So obviously you can you can w look through those insights. Which videos have had the highest engagement? Um, I also want to show you something also really cool which you can do. So it's going to tell me which videos have had the highest engagement. Uh, yes, oopsie, I'll just say yes. Cool, uh, it's going to tell me which videos, hopefully. Uh, in terms of engagement, now it's got to process this data that I've uploaded. And honestly, this is really limited by your imagination of what you can ask it. But it's um, pretty amazing what is possible might just pause this video real quick. Oh no, it's doing it now. Cool, so it's telling me the top five videos of the highest engagement. Uh, these ones, awesome. So yeah, obviously I know which videos have done well and I can kind of maybe have a look at them and see uh, how I can replicate that. I can also get um, code interpret it to create some charts so I can say create five visuals to represent different data and so you know amazing right you can kind of use this to create some kind of reporting that you might want for whatever you might need uh, obviously I'm just using you know YouTube data to really kind of illustrate what is possible it's finished working so we can see the subscribers gained over time it's also it's the top 10 most liked videos if I scroll up real quick, I just, I just show you. Uh, what, if I show work, this actually shows the Python code, which it has been using to generate this information. Which, of course, you don't need to know. Uh, cool. So that's the subscribers. This is a bar chart based on video rank, uh, views, watch time, and views. Maybe not entirely relevant. Um, and uh, yeah, so pretty crazy what is possible. It's still working on creating me some more information that I could possibly use. Uh, here we go, to impressions through click-through rates. Obviously my click-through rate has really improved over time. That's probably because I've been working on thumbnails and it's going to create a histogram as well. You might be interested is I've got a separate video on how I used this code interpreter to help manage a Google ad account by doing data analysis. Uh, this is sort of the output of um, what it was done. I'm going to put a link to that video in the description of this video so you can definitely uh, check that out. Um, so yeah, this is just an example of what is possible with Code Interpreter. It's early days and as I said, limited by your imagination of what is possible. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up icon, subscribe to my channel. We've got lots of awesome content coming your way. Thanks for watching.